Hey guys, Streaming Iraq War Veteran here with a quick little uh, information about the um, LG V20 and uh, some common misconceptions that people have about it. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about here is uh, normally when you get these phones and you don't know the settings and you don't know you know anything much about the phone, you'll you get it like this. Where it looks almost like a uh, Apple device, like an Apple iPhone or iPod or whatever. And I was online uh, checking out people's videos about this phone, and some people were giving it bad reviews because they were sitting there saying, "No, oh, I don't like the phone that much because it gives it an Apple esque uh, type of, uh, you know, home screen or whatever you want to call this, anyways, for the apps." And uh, all you need to do, guys, if you get this phone, this can be changed. It doesn't always stay like this. What they were complaining about is it didn't have the app drawer. All you do is you go into your settings, display, and then home screen. And then you go to select home under general. And you got easy home, which I'll show you what that looks like. It has those apps up there already in there. A weather app, your date and time, and uh, you have an app drawer right there. I mean, you could put that app drawer thing anywhere. Okay, there's two of them. I don't know why. Okay, you can't remove things in this one. That's interesting. Um, I don't know why they would give you two. <laughs> Maybe just in case you forget about the first one. I don't know. But uh, you can add contacts you know, dial, stuff like that. So it gives you a phone section where you can add people. I'll just show you this section. I ain't going to show you anything else because I don't need people calling my contacts. Um, you can go to dial and stuff like that. Now, if you go back to settings here and you go back to display, then you go home screen again. You can select the type that I like, which is home with separate apps list that's what I normally use is this one so your app tray is right down there in the bottom where most Android ones are and you can get all of your apps so that way if you don't want to have certain apps on your screen you don't have to um, some other cool things about this phone let's see here um, that was something some people were complaining about you can change the font sizes oh one thing that I really do like excuse me especially at night is this comfort view you can sit there and change the comfort view like I just did it removes the blue light so it doesn't keep you awake at night there is a low medium and high in black and white and that low means a little bit of the blue light's been taken away medium and so on as you can see as I'm switching through Black and white removes all the color, but it's still pretty bright. I usually like the high when I'm using that at night, usually, just to, you know, so I don't stay awake because of the white screen. Um, another thing I like here, double tap the screen to turn it on and off if you choose to. Screen saver mini view, which that doesn't work when you're recording, but this basically shows you what it does. You take your finger from the left or the right bottom to the left bottom and then it minim minimizes the screen so it makes it easier to touch if you have small hands um, display size you can change the icon sizes so you can change it bigger or you can go smaller I you just leave it in the medium middle the medium what else um Screen settings. Uh, da, 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 da. You also have themes on this one. Home screen. Themes. I plan on buying some more themes. So I might do some reviews on some themes. But these are ones that come standard with a phone. Nothing impressive obviously. Because I haven't changed it. Um, swipe effects for your uh, icons. See that slide. This one's breeze. Whoops. Breeze again. That's Breeze Accord, Accordion, 
And you got Panorama. Carousel. You got Layer. You got Domino. Yeah, I think that's all of them. I'll stick with Layer for now, I guess. <laughs> um, You can change your wallpapers. App list looping, so it keeps going around when you're through the apps list. Um, smart bulletin, I can show you what that is real quick. Um, those are the things you can have on the smart bulletin, which calendar, quick remote, LG health, and music. I don't listen to a lot of music on my phone, so that doesn't matter for me. So now when I go to left, it'll be my schedule or my TV remote, because those are the only two things I had set on there. Um, what else? Can I think of offhand? Lots of lock screen stuff. Screen swipe effect. Oh, I didn't know about this. You get soda, basic circle, and then you got a Victor circle. Can't really show you them, unfortunately, because it's it's a lock screen. And you won't be able to see it anyways. Um, I'm going to try the Victor circle for a little bit. Okay, I'm going to leave it on that one. Mm. Contact info. Lots of phones have that. Um, shortcuts on your lock screen. You can add stuff if you want. Like alarm clock or whatever. Um, if I want to add, say, my calendar. And then... Uh, I don't know. Just something stupid. Facebook, why not? Now those will be at the bottom of my screen when I come back in every time. <laughs> um, choose the position of the clock. Oh, that's for when it's on. Just um, when it's on the screensaver, I believe. Weather animation. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, there's all sorts of cool stuff. I love this phone. I really do. I would definitely recommend this to anybody that, uh, um, <sighs> definitely, sorry about that. I would definitely recommend this to anybody that wants a good phone. And there's one major reason, which I'll show you right now, actually. The camera. I know you're not going to see much, okay? But that's beyond the point. But, uh, you have all sorts of mad, mad settings with this sucker. Um, if you go to, okay, I'm in manual. You've got into a full auto mode, which is your normal camera stuff. It does pretty decent. Um, you got a manual camera mode. And then, um. Okay, autofocus, that's where it's cool. The focus peaking shows you where it's going to be. What you're focusing on. Uh, it doesn't focus very good at night, though, but that's fine. Um, but you get the point. You can... With video, that's manual video right here. You can go into settings. You can go Ultra HD 16 by 9 up to 30 frames a second. Uh, regular HD. Well, full HD. So I'm guessing that's 1080 at 60 on that one. And then, like, if you go back again go regular HD so maybe that's 720 720 at 120 frames a second you got high bit rate which I like that record video in high quality sound which is awesome um, SD cards for storage you have yeah, your normal stuff um, well, let's go back to HD. We'll take it down to 60 frames. I'll show you another option here. The Hi-Fi Audio. 
you can actually change the uh, microphone stuff. I don't know what that any of that means. The gain I understand, but I don't understand the other two, so I can't give you a definition on that. That's a major thing that I really, why I really love this camera and this this phone. It's been one of the best cameras I have ever had. And this was a picture I took earlier. I'll show you. Yeah, this is kind of cool drink. It was pretty good, actually, if you ever want to try one, if you see them in stores near you. It's Star Wars Space Punch Sparkling Vitamin Drink. <laughs> it's kind of like a sort of an energy drink and a vitamin drink. So that was pretty cool. My neighbor's nasty-ass pool. Some chicken wings. Um, I'm looking for... Yeah, this one. This is a good night picture. That that glowing thing at the bottom of the picture is actually reflection off my car because the, the flash was on. Um, but as you can see in there, the cows are looking at me, and that's a good, that's a good photo, because we took it from the road, and that was a little ways out there, so, it takes excellent, excellent pictures, I cannot stress that enough. I'm telling you, it's one of the best that I've ever had. Um, anything else I can think of, I showed you themes, your normal stuff, my ringtone, let's see if it'll play. Now nah, I won't play right now, but it's funny. Um, I can't think of anything else. Yeah, it does have, I don't know what kind of headphones you, you would need for it, but it has a hi-fi quad DAC. Um, I tried my Kingston HyperX Cloud 2 headset. That's not compatible with uh, a quad DAC, so it doesn't go in through it all. This The earbuds that they gave you with the phone brand new they're not compatible with it so i don't know if you have to have it really expensive ass uh headphones to use that or what but it definitely uh doesn't work with those ones i mean my kingston hyperx cloud twos are a hundred dollar headset <sighs> but i did look at some i looked up hi-fi uh headsets and they were like like eight hundred dollars and i am not going to pay that much for some headsets although i bet they would be worth it but i'm not paying for that um google services fingerprint security the fingerprint scanner in this thing is awesome by the way can't really show you that because we're going off my screen right now it does have a smart cleaning app which i like that built in so that means you don't get any commercials or, you know, ads and bloatware and bullshit that it wants to pass through. And if you wait, I can do temporary and raw files. I can get rid of all that stuff. Like if I go uh, click on that and then delete, I got like almost two gigs in, in app uh, um, cache. So we're going to get rid of that now. Cleaning. I haven't done this in a while, can't you tell? And now it's empty. Um, you go back. <laughs> those, I don't need those. I don't even know what that was for. Just downloaded some stupid PDF file about veal. I actually like veal. Called veal. I had it the other night as a hamburger. Veal hamburgers. Just means it's a young cow. Big whoopie doo. But it's more lean meat. And actually grease and crap bothers my stomach a lot, so... Veal is probably the only way I can eat hamburgers anymore. Come on, cleaning. It is a little bit slow, it seems like, but it it, it does the job good. The cleaning app that comes with a phone. I don't know why it's not a little quicker than it should be, but that's okay. Um, so that's all good there. I've used almost 9 gigs. I got like 42 gigs basically left. Settings? Wow, cool. Uh... <laughs> Idle time period for one month. I don't know what the hell that means. Um, what else? What else? What else? <laughs> I guess this can take up... This is a 64 gig phone. And I have a 32 gig SD card in there. And this can take up to a 2 terabyte uh, SD card, I believe. But there is none that are that high right now. Or if there is, they're expensive as hell. So I don't have one. Uh about phone um, I'm not gonna go to status
Mm, can't think of anything else that I want to show you guys. Uh, I can show you the spec, sort of, I guess, then. Mm. Go to... <laughs> Excuse me. My app drawer here, CPU-Z. This has a Qualcomm 8996 in there. Four cores. Two run faster than the other two. The two bottom ones, two and three, go up to like 2.1 gigahertz. And zero and one go up to like 1.5 or 1.6, something like that. Um, this has an Adreno 530 at 624 megahertz. Right now it's only running at 214 because it's not being used. <laughs> Uh, the, the model number for this is a VS995, which just means it's Verizon Wireless. Um, board is an MSN98996, whatever that means. Hardware is Esla. <laughs> That's strange. Screen size, 5.73 inches. 1440 by 2560. Uh, 512 pixels per inch. Total RAM is actually 4 gigs. Uh, why it doesn't show 4 is uh, system taking up some. Uh, available RAM, 28%. Let's see. Android 7. Kernel version. Root access, no. System uptime. OpenGS battery. Yay. Lots of, of freaking sensors out the... Ying Yang here. Oh, That's why I like the cleaning app in this one. You got quite a bit of sensors here. Barometric pressure sensor. That's kind of cool. I wonder how the hell that works. Magnet, gyroscope. Lots of sensors. Which is awesome. I don't, I mean, I don't have any, really any concern with those. <sighs> Damn, guys, sorry to keep yawning. It's getting nighttime. I just thought I'd put this out because I thought it would be a good video. <laughs> this GPS Test Plus that I got with the phone, it was pre installed, is actually pretty damn nice. Uh, it shows you what kind of signal you got for satellites. Shows you like a 3D view. Um, where you are in the world by the little bullseye there. And the dark section means nighttime. And the sun's obviously the sun. And the other side's a light. Um, okay, you can't click on anything in there. And you got this kind of compass. Back to the map. Speed. Heading. Altitude. And feet. Uh, different stuff. It shows you the phase of the moon, so maybe there's no moon tonight. I don't know. I don't know what that clock thing in Majigger is either. Um. What else? You can change it to a night mode, which is pretty cool. My location. Um, navigate to location settings. can't think of anything else really I do like the calendar that's with this one it's actually very nice especially if you're a person that needs to be organized I usually put my apps in there and not apps appointments Jesus I'm getting tired um anything else it comes with a file manager that I like it's pretty good it can't do anything with RAR files so that's why I have the WinRAR in there uh, downloads. This does have an IR blaster, guys. So, and gals, whoever's watching, doesn't matter. So, if you have a TV you want to use, like this one's programmed to my actual 4K TV here at home. So, you can program it to tons of TVs. Like, watch, go back in there real quick. We'll add something like TVs. I'll just show you the brands. Major brands are right there. The first few, you got LG, Sony, Samsung, Vizio, Panasonic. 
And these are all brands I have not heard of. 3M, Amark. I'll just say some. Acer, Acoustic Research, Action, Admiral. I mean, I can go for a while. I mean, I'm not going to read them all off, obviously. Daewoo. <laughs> yeah, Daewoo. And Daewoo Display, Dell. <laughs> I mean, this can use a lot of stuff, guys. This is a really awesome remote. <laughs> One of the biggest things that I like is actually going into a restaurant or whatever. If you can see their, their make of their TV, keep trying it until the TV turns off. You can piss people off in a, uh, like a laundry mat or something. If they're sitting there, you turn the TV off. Let's see here. I mean, look at this shit. There is a lot. Nad. <laughs> Nico. Couple Nikos. Optimus. Panasonic's right there. Um, Philips, Philips, Magnavox. I mean, there's a lot. I mean, you can just... Jesus. <laughs> Zenith. See, something like a shit ton of these I have never heard of, but it, it's got the codes for them, which is awesome. Alright, guys. I don't think there's much more that I can think of offhand that I, that's really important to show you guys. If there is more later, I'll just make another video. Yeah, there's nothing I can think of offhand. Alright guys, I am the Streaming Iraq War Veteran, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a good one.